many Christians think that they can appease God by good works. And the good works that I'm talking about here are works that they have determined that they will do for God. Not works given to them by the Holy Spirit out of the purity of God, but religious works, works that they believe will get them into heaven. And it's very ironic because these same Christians preach grace. They preach New Testament, not Old Testament, not the letter of the law that kills. They, they preach the blood of Jesus. And they preach against the works of the law. They preach against all of that. But ironically, they are trying to appease God by their works. They think that by doing Bible study with others, by trying to do good deeds, that it will appease God and allow them to get to heaven. But here's the thing. Jesus says that if anyone wants to follow him, they must daily deny themselves, take up their cross, and go with him. What does that mean? Does that mean we just try to appease God by good works, by doing good deeds? Is that serving Jesus? Of course not. <laughs> if you want to serve Jesus, you have to be born again. Remember those words of Jesus. Those are not my words. I only laugh because the power of God exposes the evil one, the wicked one. And what a blessing. It is to be with Jesus Christ and to be in the truth completely. What hypocrisy to think that anyone can serve God their own way without true repentance, without true righteousness, without being completely born again. You can't serve God and be a sinner. You have to repent of your sins and be washed completely clean. You cannot serve God and be in the world, one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of God. You will never make one soul for Jesus Christ. Not that we can purify anyone anyway, but if the Holy Spirit is in us, then we will be about our Father's business and we will do true works of righteousness, not works that are just trying to appease God by the arm of the flesh and by our own worldly ideas, our own little ministries, our own little Bible studies, you know. But we will actually be doing the ministry of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is truly in us. We've been born again. We've been renewed in our mind. We've given over our identities as people of America or people of whatever place that we live for the kingdom of God. No longer are we the old man or the old woman? You have to surrender even your personality. You have to be totally born again. How can you be born again if you still keep your same mind, your, sta your same politics, your same theology, your same understanding, and your same personality? If truly you're born again, you are a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. No longer are you a pervert. No longer are you a pedophile. No longer are you a homosexual. You repent of all those things. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve your flesh and God. You have to be born again. Otherwise, you have no part of the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter how many Bible studies you do. It doesn't matter how many people you talk to about Jesus. Jesus will say to you, if you haven't repented on that final day, away from me, you who sin. And remember what Jesus said that people would say, but Lord, we gave witness of you. We did healings. We did miracles. We preached your word on the street. And he will say, away from me. I don't know you. Why would Jesus say that to people who worked miracles in his name, saying, Jesus, Jesus, and praise the Lord? It's because they were never born again. God desires righteousness, complete righteousness. And unless you're willing to daily deny yourself, take up your cross, and leave the old, old life 
of lies completely behind, you're not going to enter his kingdom and you're not going to enter his good his goodwill. Have you truly been born again? Have you been changed? Is your mind different? Is your heart different? Have you been regenerated? And are you living in the newness of life? Or do you think that you're going to fool God by all your little things that you're doing to try to appease him? You think that those little things are going to earn your way into the kingdom of God while you preach that it's by grace alone through faith without works? What hypocrisy. Wake up to the truth. See what's going on. If you're not born again, you do not have life and you will not enter the kingdom of God. Don't be a fool. Open your eyes to the truth. Repent and seek Jesus and go his way and you'll live. But try to follow Jesus your own way and you won't have access into the kingdom of God. You'll be cast out.